Whoa, check this out, guys. There's like a geode growing into this water temple. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. It's pretty interesting. Hello, anybody home? Oh, yeah, dude. Here we go. The last one. Oop, we're running out of oxygen. Got some air bubbles up in the corner right here. Is he following us in here? Get out of here, bro. I'm trying to get some oxygen. Hey, yo, what is up, everybody? It is Indy Alien Jones. Welcome back to Indy's Realm. It is episode 15. Today, guys, we're going to be working over in the spawn chunks in the mushroom biome because we're going to be making a community hub today. I toyed around with some different ideas of what I could do for a community hub, guys, and I think I came up with the perfect idea. I started working on the build already, so I have a little bit of it in place. I think you guys are going to like it. So the theme that I came up with is, of course, an alien theme. So we have a UFO, a big spaceship over here in the spawn chunks, as you can see. Check it out, guys. So there is Indy's mothership. There's my mothership. Let's lie down here and land real quick. Boinks, as you can see, ooh, okay, so as you can see, it's not decorated completely yet, but we have the shell in place, and of course it's raining right now. Hey, dude, what's up, Mr. Mushroom? So yeah, as you can see, guys, there it is in all of its glory, the mothership. Let's come down this way a little bit. You can see down here from the bottom. So like I said, you can see that we have the shape of the UFO in place here. I also have like a little tractor beam in the middle so we can get beamed up inside of the ship. And now I just need to add the lights and some other little details and stuff onto the outside of the UFO itself. But yeah, here it is. So guys, this is going to serve as the community hub on the Mushroom Island in the spawn chunks here. So if somebody on the server happens to die and they respawn back here at the spawn chunks and they don't have a bed and they've lost all their stuff, they can head inside of the mothership here behind us and it'll have food and all kinds of other stuff that they might need to be able to get back to their stuff. So we're gonna stock that thing up and it's gonna give players a good opportunity to get back on their feet once they've died and spawned back here in the spawn chunks. Because I know from first-hand experience, guys, there's been plenty of times that I've died, spawned back in the spawn chunks, lost all my stuff, and had to travel a really far way back to my body to get all of my stuff back. And I would always wish, like, man, I wish I had a little hub of food, maybe a bed, a boat, you know, a sword, some armor that I could throw on so that I can keep myself protected when I go back and get my stuff. So that's why I'm getting this place set up to hook everybody up, help help everybody out on the server, and, you know, just kind of do a service to everybody and provide them with something really useful. So like I said, if they die, they'll have some some backup gear that they can use to get back to their stuff. I think everybody's going to really appreciate this, and it's going to be fun, and it's going to be, like, really cool. Look at this, guys. We're going to have a UFO. We're going to have my mothership on Indy's Realm. How cool is that? Like I mentioned, the build isn't completely done yet. All we have in is like the main shell of the build, which is, you know, the main bulk of the build is done. And as you can see, I used iron blocks for that. Thanks to that guy right up there, the iron farm provided tons and tons of iron so that we were make, able to make all of these iron blocks for the build. And then I also used some polished deep slate stairs, as you can see, going around just to give it some color, little bands of color going around it. Now, the next thing I want to do, guys, is I want to get some lights going around. So in between, like if you could see literally right above my head, that strip of iron blocks right above my head, I want there to be lights going all the way around that center strip, but I want to use sea lanterns for that. And unfortunately, I don't really have that many. I think I have, yeah, I have four, <laughs> I have four sea lanterns on me and I had 12, I think total. I put eight other ones on top of the UFO, but we're going to need way more than that because I also want to put some lights underneath on the bottom. Um, yeah, and a little bit more on top to stop mobs from spawning up there, but we need to go get some, and the place that we need to go to get that is an ocean monument. I'm sure you know what that means, guys. We have to go off in search of an ocean monument. Ow, my face! <laughs> we need to go in search of an ocean monument, and I think there's one pretty close by, so we're gonna go fly off into the distance, locate it, and loot the ocean monument. Oh, I found it. Okay, here it is, guys. Look at this. Wow, we're actually really close. Is this like right by? Oh my gosh. Yeah, look, here's the Mushroom Island. I flew around for just a couple minutes looking for it. Yeah, look. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's the UFO right there. And the monument is literally like right here. <laughs> okay, I flew way off in that direction and like looped around and then I came over here and I found it. It's right here. Okay, cool. So yeah, we need to get inside of here and we need to get our hands on the sea lanterns that are inside, but we need to be careful as to not get killed by these dudes. And I honestly can't remember if I already killed the guardians in here. I think they might be dead. Yeah, they must be dead because we're not getting the mining fatigue. Oh yeah, okay, cool. We're not getting like that curse of mining fatigue that the guardians give you. So that must mean that they're already dead. Must have cleared those out. 
Very cool, very cool. And then these guys also drop prismarine crystals, I believe, and I think we can use those to craft sea lanterns as well. And you know what, guys? It actually looks like... Oh, you know what? I think I came in here a long time ago. Oh my gosh, I need to be careful. I'm getting lit up. I think I came in here a long time ago, and I actually already took a lot of the sea lanterns, it looks like. Huh, okay, but we're gonna, we're gonna snoop around. Oh, look, there's some light coming from over here. Are there some? Yeah, okay, cool. There's still some in here. There's still some in here, so we're gonna float around in here for a little bit and gather those up. Oh, yeah, also, as you can see, I'm about to run out of air. Here's my little trick that I do. <laughs> I just spam torches on the wall like this. And then eventually you fill up, uh, you fill up your air. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I'm about to die from these guys. Oh my god, I'm so about to die from these guys. Food, 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 food. Heal. Heal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I'm cutting it really, really close down here. Okay, we need to get our hands on these sea lanterns, but there are so many guardians everywhere. Like, look at this. They're everywhere. Okay, I mainly just need to look for where light is coming from. Head that way, and then get my hands on these sea lanterns. Here we go. Let's go ahead and grab some. Okay. Okay, we're getting some. We're gonna need way more than this. I might actually have to go find another temple. Yeah, I might have to go find another temple because I don't think there's gonna be enough lights in here. Okay, yeah, unfortunately that was kind of a bust. Ooh, you know what? Look, there's some lanterns right here on the very front of the build. Let's go ahead and grab these guys at least, and then I'm gonna go fly off like I mentioned and go look for a different one. And oh my God, these guys are lighting me up, dude. They hit so hard. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Dang, those are gonna be tough to get. Maybe we just leave those alone. Let's go look for another one. Temp number two, we found another ocean monument. It's like nestled in amongst all this ice and glaciers right here. It's kind of cool, actually. So there it is. This one should be untouched, I believe. When we get close enough, we should, unfortunately, get the mining fatigue curse from the guardians inside. Let's drop down. Yep, there it is. Okay, so this one is brand new. We need to find a way in, try to not get blasted by these guardians out here. Let's make our way down through the front here. And yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, look at this, guys. Fresh sea lanterns right off the bat, but we can't mine them, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to snoop around in here a little bit and look for these guardians and take them out. And then we can scoop up all of the sea lanterns and peace out of here. Ooh, check it out, guys. I found a sponge room, but again, we can't mine it yet, unfortunately. So hopefully I can remember how to get here. Uh, excuse me, bro. Okay, so we haven't found any of the guardians just yet. I'm still snooping around. Um, okay, so he's not down this way. Maybe up through here. Okay, so we seem to be in like a big main chamber. I don't think that the guardians spawn in these main chambers. I think they have kind of like their own little rooms that they spawn in. Oh, here's one. Here's one right here. Okay, sweet. Sweet. Uh oh, we're out of air. We're out of air. Let's get some more air real quick. Spam the torches. Create a little air pocket up here so we can breathe for a second. There we go. Head back in. Look at this dude. He's just blocking the whole doorway. And these guys have thorns, I believe. So when you hit them, you take damage. Oh my god. Speaking of taking damage, guys, we're almost dead. We're almost dead. Ooh, we have this guy shooting at us. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's get in. Take care of these dudes. Ooh, it is dangerous in here. It's so dangerous in here. Okay, let's get our stuff. Okay, there's two more. Let's find the other two guys. Okay, let's go up through here. I don't think I've been up through here. Nope, okay. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. There's a guardian. Definitely haven't been up through here. Dude, he's lighting me up. I think it's his thorns from me hitting him. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Okay, let's hide for a second. Get our health back up. Can I shoot him with a bow underwater? <laughs> it doesn't really work. <laughs> doesn't really work. Okay, we're going in with the sword. We got him. Ooh, we got his head. Ooh, we got the other guy's head too. I think they might drop their head every time, actually. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so that's two down. One to go. Whoa, check this out, guys. There's like a geode growing into this water temple. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. It's pretty interesting. Hello, anybody home? Oh, yeah, dude. Here we go. The last one. Oop, we're running out of oxygen. Got some air bubbles up in the corner right here. Is he following us in here? Get out of here, bro. I'm trying to get some oxygen. Get up out of here, dude. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> dude, they do some damage, man. They do some damage. Okay, we're going to get this third guy. And then all you sea lanterns are mine, dude. Yes! Yes, let's go! Okay, it is cleared out. Now we just gotta wait for the mining fatigue to go away. Here, let's eat up. Munch on a carrot, get our health back. And let's see. 
We have a minute and a half left of mining fatigue over here, so I'm just gonna chill out. Wait for the minute and a half to go by. Oop, get some oxygen, I'm out of air. And try not to die over the next minute and a half. And then we'll start looting up all of these sea lanterns and get the heck out of here. Oh yeah, it is what I'm talking about, guys. We got rid of that stupid mining fatigue. <laughs> now we can actually break blocks, so we're gathering up all of these sweet sea lanterns. And I think I'm also gonna make a pit stop by the sponge room. I found a couple of them, unless it was the same one that I passed twice, but I think I found a couple different ones. I'm gonna get my hands on those too. Let's go ahead and gather up all this stuff, and then we're gonna have plenty of lights to light up the UFO. Oh my god. Holy moly, guys, that was close. I just narrowly escaped with my life. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, the, <laughs> the guardians were lighting me up as I was getting out of there. Let's land up here on this little berg right here. Here we go, and let's check the inventory. Oh yeah, there we go. So we got almost two full stacks of sea lanterns, and I only have the three wet sponge. I want to go back in and get that sponge real quick. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, we found it. I also picked up a couple more sea lanterns along the way. We're going to go ahead and grab this. I think there's another one? <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's one other sponge room. I'm gonna try to hit that up too. If not, we're just gonna peace out. Okay, I'm giving up on looking for the other sponge room. I think that might have been the only sponge room in there. So we got, like I said, almost two stacks of lanterns and over a half a stack of wet sponges. So we're good to go. We don't need the sponges. I just wanted to get those. May as well get them while we're out here. And let's take off from here, fly back over to the spawn chunks and put these lights onto the UFO. Okay, we made it back over to the mothership, and what I'm going to do here is start punching out little holes where these lights are going to go, where we're going to put the sea lanterns. Now, I'm not just going to put the sea lanterns flush across the front of here. I'm actually going to put them back one block deep, and we're going to use stained glass, like colored glass, to go along here, and I'm going to go with purple. At first, I had it multicolored, where there was like a bunch of different colored glass, and it looked really fun and whimsical and playful, but it was a little bit chaotic, maybe a little bit messy. So I think I'm just going to stick with the purple glass and we're going to go all the way along the whole ship like this. So I basically need to find the center. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five. So it'd be right here in the center. I would put a light like right here and then skip one, put one, skip one, put one. And we're going to do that all along the entire outside edge of the mothership. I just knocked out the last couple blocks here. Let's fly down here and we're going to head up into the spaceship. And then we're going to see how it looks. I think I got it right. And then we're going to start plopping down the sea lanterns in there. So let's go up here. So as you can see, I kind of started like a little bit of the decoration. So this is going to be kind of like the beam coming down. We have like an orange beam. I put some white in there too, just to kind of add some, like a, a different little flavor of color. When you're further away, I think it looks a little bit better. It kind of just looks like white streaks of, I don't know. I, I imagine some sort of like energy like flowing down through the beam so it kind of adds adds a little bit of flair to it so we're gonna head into here have a little bubble vader that sends you up into here and there you go <laughs> it looks weird with all the blocks missing in the middle so we're gonna have them like that and then we're gonna take the sea lanterns and we're gonna go all along the whole thing it looks like i could salvage some of these blocks even though we don't really need them we can go like this and then we'll get rid of the ones in the middle and then yeah these will be set back one because like I mentioned, this block right here is going to be glass. So we're going to actually have to go and grab a bunch of glass and turn that into purple glass. So we can put that in all along the whole perimeter of the entire ship. Here we are in the storage room, guys. And I am realizing now that I barely have any purple dye. I also have barely any blue dye, which means I'm going to have to go either out to the flower farm to get some blue dye. Or alternatively, I could crack into, where is it? into some of this lapis ore right here. I think I'm just gonna do that. This is gonna be more convenient. We're gonna bust this open and turn this lapis into blue dye and then we'll combine the blue dye with the red dye. We'll get the purple dye and we'll make the purple glass <laughs> and then we'll be good to go. Here we are back at the mothership and we're gonna plop down the shulker box right here and check it out guys. I've got a bunch of stuff in here that I can use to kind of decorate the inside of this place and I also have the purple glass right here. So we're gonna go around the outside. Let's grab our purple glass. And I'll show you guys real quick what I'm going to do. Pretty simple. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to go like this. Bloop. And I'm going to put purple glass in these little holes going all the way around the outside of the whole ship. Oh yeah, check that out guys. So we added the purple lights in. That is looking really cool. It's very subtle, but it's nice. It's nice. It adds a nice little glow and a nice little detail around the UFO. And I also added in some like energy beams down here. So we had the main tractor beam coming down. And then I added some rings going around it, and I think it just it adds a little bit more to it, makes it look a little bit more interesting. Yeah, that's looking really sweet. And then we're gonna swoop down here, 
and we're going to get beamed up into the UFO. And I'm going to show you guys the little bit of work that I've done inside. Let's go whoop, up inside to the top here. And as you can see, I started adding in some walls here and kind of sec sectioning it off into different little segments like this. So I think what I'm probably going to do is have some chests in these big open sections. And then these will be like hallways that lead off into different parts of the ship. Um, I'm not too sure what else is going to be in the ship yet. I'm kind of just winging it and coming up with stuff on the fly. Maybe some little like sleeping chambers or something like that in case somebody needs to sleep through the night when they spawn here. Just stuff like that and probably just a lot of like aesthetic things just to add to the ambience and to the feel of the ship. But yeah, this is what it's looking like so far. I did some more work on the inside of the mothership. It's coming along. Not quite done yet, but it's getting there. And now we need to go gather up all the materials that we're going to put inside of the mothership for people to use whenever they happen to die and respawn there. So we need food, we need rockets, we need beds, boats, all kinds of other stuff. Oh, torches. Uh, what else? We need a few other things. But yeah, first of all, we're going to stop right here at the villager trading hall and we're going to get some golden carrots for food. On second thought, getting golden carrots is probably going to take a while because I'm going to have to trade a lot with the villagers. We can just use regular carrots. Like, look at this. Oh yeah, guys, we have like so many carrots. We could just put some carrots in there so you can munch on carrots when you spawn back at the mothership. And check it out, everybody. I've done some more work inside of the mothership here and it's coming along pretty nicely. We're not completely finished yet, but I have the main room completed here. So as you can see, I have a bunch of chests on all four sides of the room and we have all the goodies that you're going to need if you spawn back in the spawn chunks and you need to go get your stuff back. So we have food. So I've got a little bit of food in each of these chests all the way around here. And then we've also got boats in case you need to go across the water. We have torches, we have beds, extra firework rockets, and then we've got some gear. So full sets of armor and some tools, weapons, and shields in here in case you need to suit up so that you can keep yourself protected when you go get your stuff back. And as you can see, guys, in addition to the chests and all the goodies in here, which is the main part, right? We want to make sure that if people spawn here, they have the gear that they need. So I wanted to get to that first and prioritize that. But I also did just a little bit of decorating by putting up the polished deep slate walls in here. And then as you can see back here, we've got like some little accents with the crying obsidian right here, which I think is really cool. And there's like cool little particle effects coming off of it. Plus the purple matches the purple lights on the outside of the ship. So I kind of like the theme that we have going on with the purple in here. And as you can see, it splits off into two little like corridors and there's nothing back here yet. So I'm thinking about making these into some different types of little rooms. And we have all of this area around the whole perimeter of the ship to play with too. So all the way around the outside of it. Plus there's like this whole top section, but I don't know if I necessarily want to make a second floor to it. Maybe, potentially. But I know in this room, like in this main room, I want to be able to see the full ceiling. I like how tall the ceilings are in this main room, so I definitely want to leave that alone. But yeah, as you can see, it branches off in all four directions from the corners, and you have the little crying obsidian bits, and then it's the same at every one. You get down here, and it's going to split off two separate ways, and then we have empty room to work with on those sides there. But unfortunately, guys, I've run out of time for today's episode, so I've put in a lot of work over the past couple days coming up with a design for it, and building it in creative mode first, and then building it over here in Indies Realm, plus gathering up all the materials. I tried to leave out a lot of the boring bits, like gathering up all the stuff that I had to make to put in here, and it might not seem like a lot, but it kind of is. <laughs> it takes it takes time to go gather up all those little bits and pieces, and yeah, it just, before you know it, the day's gone, and what can you do? That's all there is to it. There's just not enough time sometimes to get everything finished. So it's all good though. We'll have more to look forward to in future episodes. I can get back into the mothership and add some more cool stuff in here. Plus, this gives me the opportunity to take some suggestions from you guys. So if you've made it this far, congratulations and thank you. You are amazing. Holy moly, you made it to the end of the video. You are incredible, seriously. And if you have any suggestions that you want to see for inside of this mothership, go ahead and put those down in the comment section below. I'll be sure to take those into consideration. And who knows, they might end up inside the mothership here. So anyways, guys, like I said, I'm out of time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Had a blast making it as usual. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up like button. If you're not already, consider subscribing, hit the red subscribe button, and click the little bell icon next to it so you can be notified of whenever I upload brand new videos. But thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Indie Alien Jones, and I'll see everybody in the next episode. Peace.